So now let's talk about the syllabus. Um, let's just going over that together. So here is just um, the information about the course. The course name, it is for a spring semester and it's going to be totally online. Here is just my information. This is my email and uh, my Webex link. Uh, my office hour is going to be every Friday, um, 10 to 12 p.m. Uh, you have to email me in advance um, or you can just ask me, hey, um, if you cannot make it on Fridays, you can just email me in advance and just ask me, hey, can we do Monday? And I'm going to tell you yes or no, but we can just schedule that in advance. Um, here you can see your GTA's information, her um, email and also Webex link. She is responsible for the discussion post. So whatever question that you're going to have about your grading um, of the discussion post, you have to reach to her, not me. Um, I'm going to talk about the criteria more, um, but yeah. Um, so the course syllabus might change over the semester. Um, so just be mindful of that. Check our college periodically um, because I'm going to just update you. I'm very good <laughs> with doing announcements. So just be mindful um, to check our college every other day or maybe every day. So here you can see course goals um, and like the, the whole description of the course. Make sure that you read this part. I'm going to skip that because I want to uh, make the video short and concise. Um, here is the book's name uh, again. So you can just rent it or you can just buy it. It's up to you. Oh, very important point here. All of your assignments uh, must be in MS Word format. Don't upload an assignment in PDF because I cannot do comments on PDF and um, like 99% of your assignments, they have to be in APA 7 style. I'm going to tell that every time. But whenever I'm just trying to converting um, your PDF uh, to MS Word, the whole design and the whole um, like wording gonna change and the style not gonna be APA. So you're gonna lose the point. Make sure that um, you're gonna upload and submit your work in Word. So here you can see the whole class components. Um, we talked about unit tests. You know that we have like three of them, each 15% for a total of 45. Um, you know that we have discussion posts. Uh, it is 10% each. We have three of them for a total of 30%. Then we have observation project and um, it's going to be 20% of your final grade. Of course, we have weekly quizzes. Um, so like each chapter, each new chapter going to be started on Monday and we're going to have a quiz due date on Sunday, 1159. So just make sure that you're going to check out the lecture site um, and also the book chapters because they are so important and um, with reading both of the book chapters and uh, the slides, you can make sure that you're going to get all five points for each quiz. So the total grade for this course is out of 150%. Here you can see grading scale, uh, your PAW grade, uh, P-A-W uh, grade going to be based on the letter. Um, you can just check it out, but just one important point here, I'm gonna round up the grade if they are just, for example, 92.5, yes, it's gonna be rounded up, but if you would guess like 92.4, it's gonna be rounded down. So just make sure that you know that and uh, you're gonna work accordingly because it is very important, especially <laughs> um, at the end of the semester, because I did have some students, they were struggling to get an A, but unfortunately they were like 92.4 and I couldn't help them because whatever grade that you would earn in this class, it's going to be fixed. I cannot help it. Um, read um, each um, paragraph by yourself because they are so important. Um, you cannot make up any exam or test in this course. It's not possible unless you would have 
some medical condition that the dean of the students would accept that and based on their letter and based on uh, their opinion, if they would accept that, I would let you to just take another exam. So just make sure you're going to catch up with the deadline and um, just be safe. Don't get sick <laughs> because uh, the dean most of the time, I mean, it's just 50 50. Sometimes they would just accept that. Sometimes they wouldn't even accept medical documents. So just make sure you are safe. Uh, make sure you don't have any technical problem. And if you have, just email me ASAP, even in the middle of the exam, just email me. It is very important. After each test, you're going to have one week to just uh, get back to me with whatever question that you have. If you want to just review your answers, we can do that on WebEx, but you have just one week. Email me uh, during that period. Uh, one important point here is about discussion posts. Um, during each course, we're going to have like, we have like three different discussion posts, but each discussion post has two different sections. Section number one is your post. It has to be 250 words and it needs to have some uh, academic background. And uh, like, for example, you cannot just make up some facts by yourself. You have to just check the book chapter and course notes and just make sure that whatever you are just referring to, it has some scientific background behind that. Um, and it's going to be based on some theories from the book. Uh, so don't make up anything by yourself. The second part of each discussion post going to be about the feedback that you're going to provide uh, to two other peers in the class. So more specifically, you're going to read all of the posts, like from other students, we have 75 students. So let's say you're going to read 47 posts and you're going to choose two students to respond. And the way you're going to respond them, it must uh, be at least uh, 100 words, your feedback. And it has to have, um, again, some uh, context. You see what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like, yeah, for example, Molly, I agree with you. It is such a good post. And that is on. No, no, no. It has to just, um, it, it just needs to be good, honestly. Like, for example, if you are agreeing with someone, which is good, you have to say that, hey, I'm agreeing with you because it totally goes with Piaget's theory. And it also goes with, oh, let's say, child development's uh, perspective from like that scientist or from this page of the book. So just make sure that you're gonna address that in a good way to get the full grade, okay? Each discussion post gonna be 70% of the whole grade of the discussion post. And each feedback, like the two feedback gonna be 30%. If you would feedback to just one student, you're gonna get 15% of that. 30%. So just make sure that you're going to um, comment to at least <coughs> two other students as well. Um, here you can see more information about the late assignments. Make sure that you're going to just answer both feedback and also post in the period, in the deadline. If you feel like there is something wrong that you cannot make the deadline, um, email your TA in advance and just inform her. Just let her know, CC me. Um, again, you can find her email here. I already talked about weekly quizzes, so you know that. Um, check the schedule, mark up your calendar, and make sure that um, you know about each um, weekly quizzes deadline. Because like we don't have it every week, actually, I know the name is weekly quizzes, but we don't have it every week because I wanted to make sure that you're not going to get overwhelmed in this class. So I just um, put weekly quizzes in a week that you don't have discussion posts, but you have discussion feedback. OK. Um, oh, another point about discussion posts, you're going to post um, like in a specific deadline. Then you have, uh, you would have one week to just read other people's posts and just feedback them. So I guess everything is just uh, scheduled in the best way. There's not going to be any pressure on you if you would catch up with the course and assignments. 
Another point is about observation project. I'm going to talk about this more and more, but observation project, it just, uh, you have to observe a child. Uh, based on the condition that I will give you, there are going to be some prompts. I will just talk about every possible situation that like and theories experiments that you're going to uh, watch and observe. Um, let's say children, and you're going to have some notes. You're going to make video based on that observation. And, um. The reflection paper must be at least 500 words that describe the whole procedure. I will give you some examples um, in the meantime to just understand how you should just write up your uh, paper, reflection paper. The video also, um, it's so fun. My students, they did have fun making the video last semester. I will show you as well to just understand that what criteria you should follow for that. It's a fun project and it's going to be 20% of your final grade. About the absences, if you miss any assignment, again, you have to go to Dean. You have to email them. If they would accept that, I will give you extension on your uh, projects, um, exams, or whatever you have. Um, <coughs> I already talked about uh, the communication um, like criteria with me. You know that you are aware about the timing. Uh, you know that you have to just mention section number and uh, your course name. Uh, here, just some information about studying for this class. They are very helpful. Make sure you're going to read them. Um, you know about academic honesty. Just read them. They are also important. Uh, what else? Oh, title X. Um, this is also very important. Um, if you are, like, if you have experienced any sort of sexual harassment or violence, you know that you have to go and inform the university because you shouldn't be harassed uh, in, and you shouldn't be harassed anywhere, but also especially in um, in your campus, in your university. Either if someone is just harassing you in my class, I mean, via comments or like, I don't know, emailing you, just inform me. This is very important to me um, and also inform the university as well uh, because I cannot tolerate any sort of harassment uh, to my students. Um, course evaluation is also very important to me, whatever feedback that you have. I would respect them. I would do my best to just meet your expectation and make course uh, more informative, more fun. Because honestly, developmental psychology is just so much fun. You're going to love it. But yeah. Um, oh, this is schedule is very important. I would just print it and just have it <laughs> almost every day and just make sure I would um, check the deadlines because they are so important. Um, so by the end of this week, we have syllabus quiz, you know that, and you can see that, uh, beginning of each chapter going to be Monday and the end of it going to be each Sunday, 1159. Um, but here, like you can see, like some week, we don't have any assignments on Sundays. So phew, good. Um, but some weeks we do have like two assignments. But this is just discussion post feedback that you can just do it um, like in week, like before Sunday during the week. Here is like uh, your test time. Uh, the test is going to be online totally. And you're going to have a whole day to just um, take the test. But it's going to be just one day. You can see um, after each unit, which includes some chapters, we're going to have one test and uh, the test contains uh, both book and lecture slides. Um, oh my God. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that by this date, I'm going to talk more about uh, your final project. But if you have any question before that, you can just email me and ask. And yeah, I guess that is all. Um, Yep.
we're going to cover 10 chapters uh, during this semester. We're going to have a lot of fun in our discussion and um, in the lecture parts, because I, I, I provided some activities um, for um, the lecture part as well, but we're going to talk about this more in detail. So for now, we have this. But if you have any question, just email me, ask me. And yeah, thank you so much for listening to me. Have a good week.